In this video, we're going to look at this special function, this special function known as the uh, elliptic function of the second kind. So uh, suppose you have an ellipse given by given by this. Well, there's no um, there's no explicit formula for the arc length of this ellipse. So uh, so we would well we, we would need to look at this function. Well, we don't know how to integrate this. So we uh, we would turn into a series, and then from from the series we would then integrate it to give us this. Well, the uh, the arc length or the circumference of an ellipse is given by is given by four b times this thing here times this thing here. Well, we don't know how to integrate this. We would turn it into a series and then integrate the series. That would then give us this thing here. So we are going to try and understand how we're going to get from here to here. Okay. So so let's start um, let's start by rewriting this. So start by rewriting that as as um, as this. So here um, here this is your one one plus plus and your and then you've got your um, and then you've got your and then you've got your complicated bubble and then you've got your complicated complicated bubble to the power of half to the power of half. So um, I, I copied and pasted this from the uh, from the internet. So their k will be different from from our k. Our k is different from their k. Okay, so because I copied and pasted this. So um, so so uh, we've seen this before. You can jump from here and turn it into a series. So from here we can turn it into uh, into a series. So remember when you when you when you turn this into a series, your eyes should zoom into this this power here. Your eyes should zoom into this power here. So the first the first term will be uh, will be a half. So your eyes should zoom into that, and then you you should take away one. So a half take away one, and then a half take away two. Uh, that's this bit, and so on, all the way to here. So it would be a half take away whatever is here, and then uh, and then well from here, just just remember from here you can turn it into a series. Well this thing here equals equals this thing here, and and let me try and explain why why you've got this block here. So, so uh, from here, hang on. so from here, looking at this, uh, you can imagine this, this negative thing here. You can imagine it as being a block of minus one, and then here you've got a block of um, k squared, and then here you've got uh, sine squared t, and then all to the power of n. So, uh, so you've got to get this uh, minus one to the power of n. So minus one to the power of n, and then. Uh, this uh, you would get the two times n, so you have k two n, and then uh, and then sine uh, sine two uh, n t. So this uh, this block here is actually this here. Okay. So uh, so think about it. From here, from here, that would then take you that would then take you to uh, to here. That would then take you to here. Okay. So now. Now let me think what I did next. Um, hang on, let me think. Um, okay, so tie tidy this up. A half take away one, that will be a negative a half. A half take away this, that will be negative, and so on. So you take away you you take away one each time. Take away one, take away one, take away one, and uh, and for this for this one, you can imagine this as being uh, a half take away two n over uh, over two. And then uh, uh, plus two over two, and then merge all these together. That will then give you this, and uh, and so on. So uh, so from here, that will then take us to here. So now um, now we need to understand where we got this from. So um, so let me think. So so if you look at this, n is moving from one to infinity. So when it's one, you only obtain this uh, uh, this this one term here. When it's two, when n is two, you would obtain two. When n is three, you would obtain three. When n is four, you would. But well, if you if you um if you look at this, when n is two, so this would when n is an even number, uh, this block here will be negative. So when so so let, let's let's look at this. When n is one, you would on, only look at this here. So when is n is one, well this one here will give you a positive. When n is one, so one one plus one. Square this negative thing, you get a positive. When um, when n is two, when n is two, this here will be a negative. 
uh, this combining these two blocks would be, would be a negative. Well, when n equals 2, um, you would obtain these two terms. Well, when n is 2, you put into here, so that would be um, to the power of 3, which will be a negative. Now, when n is 3, when n is 3, you would obtain, you would combine all these. Now, negative, negative. So the whole lot will be positive. So when n is 3, you put it into here, um, that, that will then give you uh, to the power of 4, which will be uh, a, a positive. Negative 1 to the power of 4, it will be a positive. Well, by, by you having this component here, you can remove all the negatives. So that will then give you this. Um, and bear, bear in mind, if you, so, so you can remove the negativeness, if that makes sense. You remove, by having this component, you remove this negativeness here, you remove this negativeness here, if that's even the word, you remove the negativeness here, well here you remove the negativeness here, so that would then become, so here if, if you have a minus b over 2, if you remove the negativeness, then uh, then it would be this. Um, so so you would switch the uh, you would switch these two around. That would then give you this. Well, by having this component here, you can remove the negativeness if that makes sense, uh, and then that would then take you to here. Okay, and then and then let me think. Uh, what did I do next? Uh, hang on, let me think. Uh, hang on, let me think. Oh, same base. Same base, so you can just combine these two. That would then give you this. So combining these two, that would then give you this. And then, uh, and then what? Uh, hang on, let me think. Oh yeah, and then if, if you look at this here, this thing here will always be, um, be an even number. And then when you, when you combine it with the one, it will always be an odd number. So, uh, negative one to the power of an odd number will always be a negative, will always be a negative. So you can take this, out here, and then it will become this, and then everything will be will be nice and clean inside here. Okay, and then, and then let me think, what did I do next? And then, oh, so so that will then take us to um, that will then take us to here. So re remember, we are trying to um, to integrate this. So um, so to integrate, so 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 remember, right from the start, we we were, hang on, let me think. Um, so. So from here, I will continue in the next video. I've lost track. Okay, I will continue in the next video.